What's up gamers? Mass Gamer here today to bring you another one of our Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 weapon reviews. Today we are looking at the ACR Assault Rifle. We're going to go ahead and start out with a spray comparison. First one we're going to be shooting from the hip. No attachments, no proficiencies here. As you can see, uh, decent cone of fire there as far as the uh, hip fire goes. Now we're going to aim down the sight so you can see the contrast there. See, there's a little bit of an upward kick if you don't have any proficiencies, but not much at all. One of the most accurate weapons in the game right here, in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and put on the kick proficiency to show you the difference in the aim once you have added that. I'm going to go ahead once again, hip fire. You can see the cone of fire is much, much tighter. And aiming down the side even more accurate so I highly suggest that you put kick on this. If you can see there's barely any discrepancy of where you're aiming versus where the actual bullets go so um, anyways go ahead, and con uh, go ahead and take a look at that and then we'll get into our gameplay here. Um, this one I wanted to do something a little bit differently as far as the gameplay goes. I wanted to show you when I am the only person on my team. Well, basically the only person on my team. This is a losing game here, and just to kind of show you, uh, I don't give up without a fight, that is for sure. So, hopefully, a little bit uh, interesting to mix things up a little bit here. Um, this is on Village, which is uh, an. Uh, totally out of balance map but for some reason I really like it um, it's a lot of fun to play and I don't really know why as it is poorly designed for the most part but it's a lot of fun to play so anyways uh, back to the ACR ACR is one of the best overall weapons in the game and definitely one of the best assault rifles in the game the feel of it it's really lightweight um, the iron sights are really good on this gun. I don't suggest even using a red dot at all with this weapon, um, as the iron sights are plenty good enough to use by themselves. Um, the the rate of fire on this one is really good. It's comparable to some of the uh, submachine guns as far as the rate of fire goes. It's quick, accurate, and packs a punch as well. Um, and the aiming down the sights doesn't take that long, so you can go face to face with somebody that's using an SMG or um, something else that would be uh, quick to aim, and uh, you can stand a stand a good chance of beating them. Um, and the hip fire, it's actually a really good hip fire. I think it's probably the best hip fire out of all of the assault rifles. Goes, I mean, it's uh, this is close to a submachine gun in my opinion, except you've got the the range and you've got uh, obviously the extra damage there because most of the SMGs don't do as much damage as the assault rifles most of them um, attachments that I use on this I I typically will use a silencer um, I don't know what it is about the silencer I can't really tell you exactly what it is but it makes it feel like the uh, it it makes a lot more accurate for some reason I don't usually use the the silencer on many weapons but this is one of them I use the silencer on this weapon at all times. Um, that's what I would advise using. If not, extended mags, because um, you're not going to need any any type of uh, sight upgrade on this one, as the iron sights are really good. Uh, but if you do, use an iron, uh, use a red dot and uh, use a red dot and extended mags, or a red dot and silencer, whatever you uh, prefer. Um, like I said, the proficiency, I, I suggest using kick. It makes it a little bit more accurate, but it's definitely not a necessity with this weapon as it's uh, uh, stock. It's a really, really good rifle. Now, as far as the ratings go, um, I rate each weapon in four categories. One of them is power. Second is accuracy and reliability. Third is the movement, which would be you know how, how your movement is when you're wielding the weapon. And then the last one is first strike. Um, basically, what that is is if you're head to head with somebody, it's going to give you an indication of, uh, you know, are you going to be able to beat them at night, beat them or not, if both of you are uh, unexpectedly running into each other. Um, so, basically, what this one is, each each section is going to be rated from one to five, with a total possible of 20 points for every single weapon that I review. So the power on this one, I'm going to give it a four. It is a strong assault rifle accuracy and reliability it is a four um, some argue it might be a five but I'd say it's probably a four um, 
I mean, it's it's great, but it's not perfect. But it's definitely a re reliable weapon, and I suggest using it. Uh, the movement it is lightweight, so you can be light on your toes and juke out the enemies and uh, dodge and weave and all that good stuff. So that gives it an overall, um, as far as the the first strike. It, it can also compare to the SMGs as far as that goes. It's uh, definitely a weapon that uh, is very, very well balanced. Probably the most well balanced weapon in the game as far as I'm concerned. So that would give it a 16 out of 20, the highest that I have rated so far. Um, game types for this weapon. Um, this is definitely a standby weapon um, as, as far as it's a staple in my artillery when I'm playing this game. Anytime I feel like I might not be playing up to par or, or need a little bit of a uh, of an ego boost, I'll bust out that this weapon because it is just so well balanced and anybody can use it for any game type, even free for all. Um, player skill level, um, I rate this on three different levels. Uh, you've got beginner, which would be somebody that's not necessarily familiar with first-person shooters, um, Call of Duty series in particular, um, just kind of starting out. Then you've got what I've uh, said before, but what is the majority of the Call of Duty community, which are average players, you know, they're, uh, you know, usually rocking somewhere in between a .8 and uh, 1.0 kill-death ratio. Um, sometimes a little bit higher, sometimes a little bit lower, depending on how much they fool around. <laughs> um, and then you have your good players. The good players, uh, you know, can definitely wield some damage with this, but... Um, I would suggest this weapon for all skill levels. It's probably one of the weapons you'd want to start out with in the very beginning if you've never played the game before. Um, is that it's really easy to use. Um, doesn't take a lot of talent or skill to use, and um, you can definitely do some damage with it. Uh, but some of the re the really good players can do a ton of damage with this thing because it is so well rounded and very predictable and reliable. Uh, player types, I, there's three different player types in my opinion. You've got your defensive player, which kind of hangs back, camps, guards objectives, things like that. Um, and then you have your moderate or mid players. They kind of stick and move, find a little cover, hang out for a second, find some more cover. Um, not necessarily rushing, though, and not necessarily camping. And then you have your third, which is your aggressive gameplay style. Um, that would be your in everybody's face, rushing at all times. You want to get every piece of action that you can, and you are the first one out of the gate every time, every single time. Um, this weapon is good for all player types and all player skill levels. Um, that's one of the good things about this weapon is it's so versatile. You can use it for anything, and you can also use it with any different type of setups that you're looking for. So as far as the class setups, my preferred class setup for the majority of the assault rifles is going to be sleight of hand. You definitely need that. Uh, quicker reload time. Um, it's really important if you're in multiple gunfights or coming up against multiple opponents on the battlefield. Um, the second one that I would suggest with this is the Assassin or um, <clears throat> Hardline. Uh, you don't really need quick draw with this one as the uh, aiming time is, is relatively low for this so I don't even suggest using quick draw. Um, and then the third would be Stalker. Um, obviously I think that you need that additional movement speed when you're using the assault rifles. Um, especially this one, it would be very similar to an SMG as far as the movement and everything once you put the stalker on, so I would definitely suggest uh, putting that on. But this weapon is probably one of the most versatile. It works well with all, um, all reticles, it works well with all um, different aiming systems, it works well with all proficiencies. Um, just all around a good gun and you can do a lot of different things with it. So. If you want to fool around with a thermal or, or whatever you're feeling like doing that day, you can go ahead and put it on this one. Or, you know, you want to use some different perks as well. Um, the, the weapon is so strong that you can sometimes give up some of the perks you usually use to have some different setups. So feel free to experiment with this one. You're not going to lose too much because the weapon itself is that good. Um, now, the pros of this weapon, um, there's a lot of them. It's, it's strong. Um, it's got a lot of damage even at long range. Um, fire rate's high, damage rate's high. There's really not a whole lot of things that are that are really bad about it. I mean, I don't have necessarily anything bad to say about it. Um, even even the even the sound that it makes is relatively quiet. Um, so I would definitely say that if you are um, looking to looking to increase your game or increase your kill death ratio, if you have not used the ACR, you should definitely try it out, see if it feels good to you. 
Um, but it's usually consensus. This is one of the best weapons in the game. Um, most people I talk to, anyways, think that. Um, it's really kind of hard to compare it to a lot of the different weapons just because it is so well rounded. But that, then again, it also depends on your play style and you know what feels good to you. So if it's not your favorite, that's okay. You know, I would I would suggest using what is good for you, um, and and really in all situations because that's what it comes down to. I mean, you know, the MP5 might be great for you, uh, but it sucks for me. So it really just comes down to personal preference for most of these things. But I'm basing it off of my experience, which uh, you know is thousands and thousands of kills with just about every weapon in the game, and um, playing the heck out of this thing. So hopefully you will find this um, helpful. Um, as you can see in this gameplay, even though even though my team is losing, I'm still putting up some numbers and a uh, good fight. You know, I don't uh, back off at all, and uh, you know, most people give up. I see a lot of people that give up even when when you know they're getting their butts handed to them. Um, that's not really the way that I choose to play. I choose to make the best out of every game, as you can see here, and just continue to push forward and do everything that I can to uh, <laughs> to win or at least make it as hard as possible for the guys that I'm playing against. I want to make sure they're feeling as much grief from my uh, ACR as possible here. Um, the, the Like I said, the, the different tips that I would put towards this gun right here is, you know, you can actually spray a lot more with this one because you don't have a big lack of, uh, you don't have a big spray um, coming down if you uh, continuously shoot the weapon. So you can spray a lot. So I mean, if you if you do get a little bit spray heavy, I would consider using the extended mags for it. Um, and you know, you can um, kind of play the way that you want. But I typically will play a lot more aggressive, as you can see. I'm uh, always going to get the flags. That's one of the reasons I like domination so much. Is you're always going after those flags. So, anyways, guys, uh, we're going to wrap up this gameplay here. Um, do me a favor and subscribe to my friend Mr. Joshy5963. I'm going to put the links here in my uh, in the annotation here. I'm going to put the link down in the bottom here so that you guys can support him. Nice guy. He's been supporting us, so I wanted to return the favor. So uh, please subscribe to me and Mr. Joshy. And until next time, Masked Gamer is out.